hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today i'm going to show you how we can add our custom setting on settings section in the wordpress backend so let me open my local wordpress site first let me log in and we will be adding a custom settings under the settings section so that can be done through the settings api uh, provided by wordpress itself so i'm going to search settings api wordpress and uh, i will open this wordpress official page settings api I will provide this link under the description and I will click this if you want to see the all the details how settings API works then you can read this document um, otherwise just jump into this section so that you can start adding your section so for that there is a simple code snippet they have provided if you go here in the example section i will copy and paste this whole section and then i will explain one by one what happens with each lines so i will add in my custom plugin so if you are new to this video our channel uh, I have provided link into the I button that how can you add how can you make a WordPress plugin so go to that link first and then learn how to make plugin so I I am using that plugin WP plugins my plugin admin class admin dot php as I am adding this into the admin section so I am adding this into the admin dot php now what happens after adding uh, this code snippet so from from here I have added my code so this setting is added on the reading section so let's go to the reading and as you can see there is an extra section coming up so this is the section we have just added through this code now let's see what happens with each line so uh, we have added a function in the admin init action so that it executes on the all admin pages and in the admin pages we have added this line register setting so what this function does so this function register a setting uh, first parameter is which in which group you want to add a setting so here we have added reading that means we are adding settings for the reading section then another one parameter is the option name so what will be the option name of this setting this will be added in the database meaning the value of option will be database uh, will be stored in database with this key so this registers a setting now this will add a section 
add setting section so this will be the id of this section let's see let me inspect this section So this will be the slug name to identify section used in ID attributes of tags. Okay, let's see if this ID is there or not. Okay, this is not here. I'm not sure why, but yeah, please follow this function. So first will be the ID of the Ident okay this is used as an identifier so it will be not display in the tags id this will be the title sorry second parameter is the title of the section so wp org setting section so yeah this is coming as a as a title then this parameter third parameter is the callback so whatever we do in this function it will display over here so this callback is sorry this is for the section so uh, whatever we do in the in that callback it will display under the section so we are simply printing some instructs some text which is displaying here under the heading then this will be the page on what page we are adding this section so it it is reading make sure this and this both should be same now third this is adding a section and now this will add field in the section so add setting field first parameter is the id used for identity fire then second one will be the title title of the field so this is the title of the field wp org setting yep then then it is callback so whatever we add in the callback will display over here so we have added uh, input field for this what section so it's reading and uh, last option will be uh, arguments extra arguments so if you don't add this that's fine and in this callback we have added this input text field which is this and now the value is coming through this option setting get option if you remember we have register setting using this key so value will be stored in this key and we can get that value using get option that key so this is how it works uh, 222 is coming before because i have already added this before now let's try to change the value and save it so as you can see now value is changed so uh, this is how settings api works uh, if you want to check this api in detail uh, you can go through all these links otherwise that's fine this is also good enough 
uh, let's try to add this under the writing section so I'll change all the reading into the writing and now this option should start coming under this writing section let's see if it's there on reading no so this is how also if you want to add this in general then whatever option dash general option dash writing is there you can use that section as an identifier for the section let me show you by adding into the general as well now it started displaying in under the general section so this is how you can use settings api to create your custom settings under the settings section of the wordpress backend yeah that's it thanks for watching the video let me know if you have any doubt or question please write down below under the comment section Thanks for watching.